What's up, TLN Nation? Is that weird? We don't normally do that. No, I mean, you can well, start like what's that. up, everybody? Now yeah. let's restart. We are here in Encinitas, which is basically San Diego. The first thing we want to talk about, though, is Bobby Gray ripping the net. Nice to set him up for that. Gray finds a corner. Gray absolutely rips the corner. So not only did Bobby Gray rip through the net, it was like the most perfect corner you could hit. Bobby Gray is from Northern California, so I'm gonna go ahead and call him the California Cannon. Is that like a fair nickname? Is anyone else called that? I think that's fair. All right, Bobby Gray is now the California Cannon. Notre Dame ended up winning that game over UNC. We're gonna get back to college lacrosse, but right now we have to talk about our new series. This week, we launched our second season of Drive. Baltimore is a hotbed of lacrosse, and Calvert Hall certainly reflects that. Don't just say, hey, we did it just to do it. Push yourselves to a gear you didn't have. This season, we focus on four different high school teams, which are all part of Under Armour's undeniable program. Shout out to Dave Cheney at Under Armour for working with us on this series. He's a guy we've been working with for a while. Always pumped when we get a chance to work with Dave. There's three more episodes which will come out every Monday for the next three weeks, so make sure to stay tuned. The MLL is officially back. In opening weekend, three of the games were one goal games, which is incredible to see. John Gray Jr. is now an offensive coordinator for the Outlaws. He's retired, but Chaz Woodson is officially back in the league, Dude. which is a huge deal. Chaz Woodson like, Chaz is, Woodson a is killer so player. rad. His highlight tape on YouTube is absurd. Great to see Chaz back in the league. He's playing with the launch. Also, these New York Lizards jerseys. I'm kind of into them, but I want to put it up to the test here. Oh my God, are we about to hype or not? Yeah. The New York Lizards jerseys for this season. Hype or not? I'll tell you what's hype, they're helmets. Yeah, those are cool. Matt Black. Yeah. But the jerseys, hype or not? And now for the high school recruits spotlight, we got an email that we wanted to read. Dear Colin and Samir, or whoever goes through the recruit spotlight, my name is Brody O'Neill. I am a sophomore lacrosse player at Foothill High School in Santa Ana, California. I love watching your guys' channel. It is actually what got me into lacrosse. Love seeing that. That's awesome. I have two recruits to share with you. The first one is me. Some film from a recent game of mine can be found at this link. The film is from my games against San Clemente and El Dorado. And that's the footage that we've just been playing. The other recruit is one of my best friends, Braden Webb. Braden plays goalie for my team. He's an absolute monster, even though he's a sophomore. He plays up for the 2018 3D Southland Select Team. Brody, thanks for sending us yours and Braden's highlights. If you want to be the high school recruit spotlight or you want your friend, your brother, sister, whatever, send it to us at info at the lacrosse network.com. Q. What? You're ready, huh? No, oh, man, I'm starting the car. Q and A. Kurai Cage says, can't wait for Mid Madness. Who agrees? I agree. We agree. I feel like the final four is going to be nuts, and I feel like Ohio State might be in it. Wait, we never ended up talking about college lacrosse again. Ah, uh, should we do it right now? Yeah, I guess so. All right. right, let's run through it really quickly. All right. College lacrosse. The biggest score of the weekend is definitely Ohio State beating Maryland. Which is why Samir had just said he thinks Ohio State's gonna be in it. Cuse had another one goal game, but this time with Binging, Binghamton? Binghamton. Binghamton. Evan Malloy saved the game on the doorstep in the final seconds. Also, Sergio Salcido did not score in that game, which is kind of crazy, because he's like really good. But that also speaks to the fact of how good he is that he scored in every other game. That's true. Yale played Albany, Albany took them down. We're gonna stop there for college lacrosse. If you have any other scores, put them in the comments so everyone can see them. College lacrosse is just so good right now. Back to the questions. When are you gonna do another lacrosse meets video? As soon as we get the right idea. Yeah, I'm not sure which sport we should combine it yet. If you have good ideas for a lacrosse hybrid sport, put them in the comments. Ryan Davis, if you could play at the D1 level, what team would you be on? Let's say this season. Hmm. I would probably say Maryland this season. 
I just really like their style of play. Yeah, Maryland's cool this year. I might say Albany, even though like I think I would have a tough time living there because it's really cold. Mm -hmm. I just think it's cool that Albany's like on the rise. Scotsman says, hashtag TLN Nation. Hey dudes, where can I get some shootout for soldiers gear? From shootout for soldiers? Yes. So you can go to an event this year or follow them on Instagram because they'll definitely be giving stuff away. Hashtag Q&A, as a high school sophomore looking at recruiting options, why did you choose the MCLA and what made it such a great experience? I chose the MCLA, uh, one, because I, I didn't really get recruited to some of the bigger name schools that I was trying to get recruited to in high school. And then I chose Colorado because I just thought it was great all around. I could go skiing, I thought the school was great academically, and I knew they had a good team as well. And so it just worked out for me. For me, I never really wanted to play NCAA lacrosse, but I wanted to play lacrosse in college. So MCLA was like the perfect thing for me. I went to University of Colorado and Samir went to UC Santa Cruz. What up, slugs? I got a question for you. And I'm gonna ask this every week until the final four. Final four predictions. Ohio State, Syracuse, Maryland, and UNC. No Notre Dame. No Notre Dame. Notre Dame, Ohio State, Maryland, Cuse. That is it for the weekly watch. Make sure to click somewhere here on the screen. You will see Drive Undeniable Episode 1 and keep an eye out every Monday for the next three weeks. There will be a new episode. You got a lot of stuff to do. Got hype or not. You got to let us know if there's another lacrosse hybrid that we could do. And I think we said something else. Oh, college scores like Penn State Rutgers, which we didn't mention. Yeah. So comment all that stuff below. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you next week. Peace. Later.